Well, welcome to All You Need to Know Tuesday. Um, hey, it was really good to have the representatives from MPH. That's the group that is supporting that uh, Casa Santa Ana home in the Dominican Republic that we're, we're helping. And so, Victor, I hope you had a chance to listen to him. What an amazing story, a graduate of that, uh, of that MPH program. And so we had him here, and I was able to present him with a check uh, just under $20,000 from our Change for Change. And so thank you for all you did to make that possible. He was really overwhelmed with that in terms of giving dental care to those kids in that home and then also in that surrounding area, which there's so much poverty. Good to have our kids' Bible back. We had that last weekend for the first time. Matter of fact, I'm standing here in the chapel. This is where kids' Bible takes place. You know, they come up to me in the uh, in the church and they get dismissed. Our teachers bring them over here to the to the uh, to the chapel. So we'll continue to do that. And uh, I always love when the kids you know process out through with the with the with the the, the scriptures holding it up. So um, we'll hope to build on that program. We've got a busy Mother's Day uh, coming up, and it's a wonderful day. we got Mother's Day blessings, so we need all grandmas and moms here. Please invite somebody. we got May crowning. Of course, May is the month of Mary. We'll, I invite you to bring your rosary with you. If you've got time at the end of Mass, we're going to uh, stay and say a deck of the rosary for our mothers. If you don't, you can leave after the end of Mass. But if you've got you know, five minutes to do that, it's a nice gift to give to our moms. We're going to have an expectant and adoptive mom blessing after the 10 a.m. Mass this Sunday. We're going to come right over here to this chapel right after the 10 a.m. Mass. Bless our expectant and adoptive moms. Uh, you can go to the home page to sign up. we got a little gift for them. Again, if uh, your daughter, daughter-in-law, granddaughter's out of the area, you come in their place. Families are welcome to come over with the expectant mom and, and adoptive moms. And we're also going to have a little CMS, Catholic Maternity Services, collection uh, to help some of those moms. Uh, the items are on the website. You know, our parish council is going to be hosting a ministry appreciation evening on May 24th at 6 o'clock. And that's for all of our parish ministers, past and present. Um, we've had some difficulties getting the invitations out. So if you could go to the website, you can see you can sign up right there. We'd love to have you. Uh, it's really going to be nice for us to reconnect, um, even, if, even if it's been a while since you served. Uh, and it gives us an opportunity, gives me a chance to thank you for getting us through the COVID. There's also a link to this email in which you can sign up to come to that Ministry Appreciation Evening. We're going to be adding our noon mass. Uh, our noon mass is going to be next weekend, not this coming weekend, next weekend, May 15th. So you can spread the word that we'll, we'll have our noon mass back. We're getting our altar servers back after two years of being away from COVID. So we've got some altar server training coming up. Any, really, any girl or boy, grade five through high school, uh, we'd love to have you on the altar. We're going to do a little training on May 10th and 11th. The details are on the website. You just come to one, you don't come to both. Uh, certainly for new servers, and if you're an old server, maybe you want to come back to that to kind of brush up a little bit. But we've got those two options. So go to the website and, and sign up. It's always uh, good to have our servers on the altar with us. A little thought for the week. You haven't got to be an angel to be a saint. Huh? You haven't got to be an angel to be a saint. So look forward to seeing you this weekend. This weekend is Good Shepherd uh, Sunday. We always have that the fourth Sunday of Easter. So we'll look forward. Uh, there's a nice message uh, in the gospel for us this weekend. So we'll look forward to seeing you.